Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be adding this splash screen to our iOS app. Okay, so to get started, of course, we need to make sure we have this library installed, the React Native splash screen. That's going to make sure we can quickly connect from our native code to our, our React Native code. So make sure you install it. So you can do yarn install React Native splash screen. We've already done this if you watched the previous video. Make sure you have that and then you want to do yarn so make sure you do yarn add that or npm install that. Then we want to run the pod. So in my case, you know we have the pod script set up. We can run yarn pod and it's going to go ahead and install pod. If you don't have the pod script installed, you can cd into iOS. Then you do yarn pod. Then you cd back. So basically it's just doing something simple. It's doing npx pod install iOS. You can just run this yourself if you don't have the script set up or you can set it up. Anyways, guys, so now that we do the yarn pod, it's going to go ahead and install the basically the native stuff we need for iOS. And when it's done, the next thing we're going to need to do is set up the assets we want to show on the splash screen. Last time I showed you how to use this app icon.co to create image assets for, for your iOS device. So you can come over here and uh, bring in your logo and be able to create these one X, two X, three X. Also, you can use this to generate the ones for Android, the drawable, basically the ones I showed you last time. Also, there's this other resource. You can use this if you wanted to. I'm going to leave all these tools in the description so that you guys can check them out. Similarly, you guys can go ahead and write this, like create these yourselves. Very good design skills. All right. So I've already created my my assets. So if I come to my desktop, I should have a folder called splash icons. So here I have my different variations. Now I'm going to open up Xcode. So in Xcode, I'm going to open this project. So my project is called Arrain Contacts. So I'm going to open it. Okay. So the app is going to open up, go ahead and expand it. Make sure you have, you can select this. Then down here we have images.xassets. You want to come over here, you see where my cursor is, you can right click and then you choose new image set. So I'm going to click new image set and then you can see that I can now provide my different image variations. So I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to open up my images. So down here, I can now move this into the corresponding folders. So I'll bring it here. Also bring this one here. Then we want to go to our launch screen dot storyboard. So now this is the default splash screen that React Native gives us. So what we want is we want to go ahead and clear this. So I'm going to come over here in this pane and uh, expand this and then delete these things one by one. So I'm going to delete all this stuff. I'm going to delete powered by React Native. So we have something that's empty. Okay. So now that we have removed everything that was there, I'm going to come over here and click on the screen. Then we want to click plus. So when you click plus, we can choose a widget. So now we want an image view. So I'm going to search for Im image view. Then it's going to come over here. Now, when you search for Im an image view, you need to specify the source for it. So over here, now we can come over here and we, ch and we choose our image, the one we just uh, added in here in our assets. So now we can add it and then I'm going to bring it in the center. So that when the splash screen shows, it's always in the center. Now, if you ever want to make sure this is constrained properly, over here, there are these alignment buttons down here. You can click them. You want to click horizontally in container and also vertically in container. Then you can add the two constraints and then it's going to get and scale properly for you. Okay. So now that we have this, then you want to go ahead and click here and go to your settings. So you can go to general. So down here, we have where you can specify which file is used as the launch screen. So you want to come over here and make sure that this is using the launch screen. So choose launch screen over there. Okay. So now that we are done with our assets, we want to go to updegates.m and then tell and tell iOS to use our launch screen. So we're going to go over here where we have these imports. So we'll go to where we import this root view down here. Then we are going to add an import for our new react native module. Then we also want to go to this did launch, did finish launching with options. Then we want to go before the return. Yes. And also add this one there. So now that we have this one here, we want to go to the, to our react native code over here. And then in our app entry file, in our, in our case, ours is this in the navigations. You want to make sure you're importing the react net, the react native splash screen, and then 
you want to make sure that after you have loaded everything you want to load in the app you want to make sure that you're hiding it okay so now that we're done with all that stuff we can rerun our app so we can do yarn ios again okay so you notice that it has successfully built and now when it launches you see we have our splash screen looking good so i'm gonna go ahead and kill it by the way if you ever want to increase the size or decrease the size of your of your what is it called of your simulator over here this is just a window that you can play with notice that i can just do this and then it increases so just hold on to any of these edges and then you can increase and decrease it okay so now it looks like our splash screen is working good and uh, let's try it again and yeah looking good to me and yeah so this is good i hope you found this helpful if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos and i'll see you in the next video bye